I'm gonna do every insane challenge that my followers tell me to do at Disneyland. Is it possible to beat Gaston in an arm wrestle? Can I intentionally get arrested by stormtroopers? Is your allegiance with the First Order? Or is it possible to eat an entire turkey leg and then immediately ride one of the most bumpy rides at Disneyland without puking? But before we get to that, our first challenge is to do the mountain challenge in less than an hour. Okay, we, we gotta go right now. The mountain challenge, for those who don't know, is basically where you ride all four mountains at Disneyland. But since Splash Mountain is closed right now, we need to do the three that are open in less than 30 minutes. Oh my god, it's so busy right now, you guys. Post away time for the first one. Hyperspace Mountain is 10 minutes. If we want to be successful, we need to get on this ride, Matterhorn, and Big Thunder Mountain in less than 30 minutes. Do you really think that we can do these three rides in just 30 minutes? Oh yeah, dude, it's, it's a walk-on. They said 10 minutes, but they lied. It's a freaking walk-on. Let's go. All right. Seven minutes in. Whoa, dude, we're in hyperspace. Whoa. Dude, that was so cool. Oh. Wow, okay, that took my breath away. We need, to, we need to get on Matterhorn like right now. Okay, we're 11 minutes in. Oh God, dude, Matterhorn's a 25 minute wait. We're gonna have to do single rider for Matterhorn and hope that it's not a long wait. Is that for a single rider over there? Oh, okay, thank you. Oh dude, this is perfect. Thankfully, there was literally no wait for the single rider queue at Matterhorn. Wow. That was perfect. Immediately after this, we need to get on Big Thunder. We won't have too much time to do Big Thunder, but we just need to get on it. Okay, we're going to Matterhorn now. Whoa! Oh! Oh my Whoa! Dude! Oh my god! What? Oh, we're gonna get splashed. We're good. We have 12 minutes left. So we should have enough time to do Big Thunder. I don't even know what the wait time is for it though. It might have like a crazy big wait time. I don't know if it, this is gonna be possible, guys. We're gonna be cutting it so close because we are moving. We are moving like consistently. Oh, oh my God. Guys, we actually only have five minutes to do this, but we are at the front. Four minutes, just four minutes. I think this ride takes about two and a half minutes. So I think we should be okay. Fingers crossed. We just need this vehicle to stop and then we're good. Okay, that's it. That's it. Go! Whoa! Dude, we had 30 seconds to spare. We did it. We freaking did it, you guys. I didn't actually think we were going to do that. All right, well, that's challenge one complete. You see that up there? That's my challenge completion graph. If I can fill that bar all the way up to the top, then I'll be rewarded with a fun and relaxing Disneyland challenge at the end of this video. So hopefully this next challenge isn't as difficult as the one we just did. Eat 100 churros in less than an hour. Bro, what? Dude, this isn't even remotely possible. There's literally like no possible way. We're just going to have to take the L on this one. At this point, I was starting to get worried because because I've just failed my first Disneyland challenge. And if I don't fill up this meter, as punishment, I'll be forced to do one of the most excruciating and painful challenges at the happiest place on earth. So naturally, I was really stressing what the next challenge would be. Find Genie and interrogate him about Genie Plus? That's doable. Yeah, that's doable. Okay, I think he's in Fantasyland. So for those who don't know, Genie Plus is the paid fast pass system at Disneyland. So we're gonna go to the Genie himself to figure out why he's profiting off of something that used to be free. Genie's usually hanging out over here by Matterhorn. Where is he? Wait, is that him? Oh my god, I see him. I see Genie. Eyes are locked on Genie. There he is. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Genie, I have a question for you. Is that you? It, it is, it's you. They want to know, they want to know why is Genie Plus so expensive? Because <laughs> not all of us can make three wishes. Hey, if I had three wishes, I'd wish for you to be free, I promise. I'd also wish for Genie Plus to be free. Hey, I would say he was pretty interrogated. Did you see him? He looked absolutely flabbergasted. He was so scared of me. That's challenge complete. That's, hey, next one up on the challenge completion reader. You may be wondering why I care so much about doing these silly challenges at Disneyland. And as I put it, if I want to be one of the big famous Disney YouTubers, I need to prove to you guys that I'm worth that by doing all of these challenges that are fan submitted by you guys. Everything that I do here at Disneyland today is just for you guys, including this next challenge, get arrested by a stormtrooper. Okay, I have a theory. A few years back, I yelled down with the first order to the stormtroopers. Down with the first order! It is <laughs> if I can get up in the stormtroopers' faces and say that to them again, then surely they'll arrest me, right? Guys, they're here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do it. Down with the first order! Concern, citizen. Down with the first order! The they don't care. Is your allegiance with the first order? No, it's not. 
I'd rethink that answer before the next time you're asked. Okay, are you gonna arrest me? Watch that curiosity, citizen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't get arrested, but like, I was definitely threatened, so... I gotta get out of here, they're definitely on to me. That was so fun, I literally made him go, bruh, like what? Bruh. As I walked to the next challenge, I couldn't help but notice all the delicious smells of churros coming from all around me. And if you wanna bring that smell to your home, then click the first link in the description and use code TREV at checkout to get 15% off your order of the Magic Candle Company. Our next challenge is to get a high score on Buzz Lightyear, Web Slingers, and Toy Story Mania. Okay, so that's three different challenges. I've done a lot of research on Buzz Lightyear Astro Orbiter. Obviously, you need to be shooting for the diamonds and triangles, but apparently, if you shoot the middle of Zerg's chest plate, you can get 50,000 points. Which is what we want to do to get 999,999 ,999 points. Okay, this is it. This is Zerg. Oh, I got it. I got it. What am I doing? Please, break down right here. This this will save us. Bro. Oh, no. Oh, I did so bad. Level four? Bro. I for sure thought that I was going to hit that tiny little hole in his chest plate, but it's so hard to get it. It's so hard. It's like super, super tiny. I think I only got it like once. If we want to succeed in this next challenge, then there is a crucial item that we need to buy. We're at the Spider-Man web slinging ride. This ride typically tallies up points as a team instead of as an individual. But since I'm all alone, uh, since I'm all alone, I'm going to have to do this on my own. And according to Reddit, the highest individual score anyone's ever gotten on this ride is 750,000 points. And in order to do that, I had to buy this web slinging crap that's supposed to give me an advantage on the ride. I'm really hoping that this actually does give me an advantage and I wasn't just scammed by Disney. I spent $60 on this. I got to aim for gold and blue spider bots. The web shooter I bought explodes spider bots close to each other, but that still wasn't enough to reach our goal. Not doing good right now. In fact, I was doing so bad on this challenge that my camera fell over while filming. You guys were amazing! <laughs> wow. This thing failed me. I was like... 500,000 points off of my goal. But hey, that's okay because the next ride that we have to get a high score on, Toy Story Midway Mania, has a bunch of different opportunities for high points. And we're gonna activate them all because we need to get 500,000 points on this ride. To activate the first secret, we need to hit the mouse on top of this barn. It's not up yet, it's not up yet, it's not up yet. There we go, we, there we go, we got a mice, we got a mice, yes. We're at 19,000, okay. Uh, it could be better. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on. 39th, oh dude, I'm not going fast enough. Even though I knew all the secrets to this ride, it was really hard to keep a high score pace. Uh, I got 152,000. I was trying to get 500,000, I got 152,000. I guess I'm taking an L for that one, unfortunately. With all the Ls I've been taking, I'm gonna need a Hail Mary if I wanna fill up my challenge completion meter. Find Gaston and arm wrestle him? All right, got it. He is so going down. Gaston thinks that he's the strongest and most handsome person at Disneyland, but what he doesn't realize is that I'm right here. Look at this unadulterated strength. Gaston should be nervous. We're gonna challenge Gaston to an arm wrestle. Gaston, I challenge you to an arm wrestle. An arm wrestle? Okay, yes. let's see. Okay. You ready? All right, let's yeah. See. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, I like this little bracelet you got here. Very oh, nice. Very thank nice. you. Ooh, I like the yellow one right on my head, so I like it a lot. Oh, oh. oh no. What? Oh, 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 no, it's okay. It's Dang all right, it. no oh. one can beat me. We're good in there. Eight I... more eggs, 12 dozen every morning. Okay. Got it? Okay, there thank you. you. That's all you need. Of course. He was distracting me. He was pointing out the colors of my mic. Ooh, I like the yellow and red on that. Here's the thing though. I did challenge Gaston to an arm wrestle, even if I didn't win. So that means challenge complete. We freaking did it. Maybe when I challenge Gaston to an arm wrestle, I'm not gonna succeed every time, but hey, at least I'm gonna challenge him. And that's why you should subscribe because I'm doing the things that no other Disney YouTuber wants to do at Disneyland. And that fact could not be exemplified more than with this next challenge. Experience all three 
15 nighttime spectaculars in one night. We have a major issue. If we want to complete this challenge, we need to watch World of Color, Fantasmic, and the fireworks tonight. But World of Color and Fantasmic happen at the same time. We need to watch World of Color for like five minutes, then walk across the entire resort to get to Fantasmic, and then watch the fireworks, which will happen immediately after. Only problem is it's crowded as hell out here. Oh my god. These crowds are gonna be the death of me in this challenge. Oh, okay, it's happening. It's starting, you guys. Okay, it's a little dark, but I am here at World of Color. But now I'm leaving. We have maybe 20 minutes to walk all the way across the resort to get to Fantasmic. We might be completely cooked if there is a long line to like enter Disneyland. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was so bad. I got stuck between some kids. No one's even using these exits. Okay. We hope you had a great day. Thank you. See you around the next time. Thank you. Wish okay. me luck. I'm gonna catch Fantasmic real quick. Have fun. Thank you. He believes in me. I'm gonna need all the luck I can get to navigate the main street crowds while everyone is lining up to watch the fireworks. Oh, it looks pretty crowded, you guys. We have 10 minutes until Fantasmic ends. Oh god. Oh, sorry. Getting in the frontier land where Fantasmic is happening might be a little bit difficult. Because, oh, what are they doing here? Oh, they're cutting off traffic. It's gonna be viewing only. Exit's gonna be up the sidewalk. It's... This is so bad. I was starting to get worried there, but I think we got this. We should still have like five more minutes left to Fantasmic. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's Fantasmic. We did it. We made it to Fantasmic, you guys. Oh, okay, sorry. Clearly, I don't know where I'm going. She said it, Fantasmic. What? After enjoying Fantasmic, I went to watch the fireworks to officially complete this challenge. Whoa. Dude, let's freaking go. We actually did that challenge complete. Can anyone really say that they've watched all three of the nighttime spectaculars in one night over the course of like 30 minutes? I don't think so. We're not quite done yet though, because tomorrow we're gonna be here bright and early. We have four more challenges to do, and this is what the challenge completion meter looks like right now. Our first challenge today is to ride Big Thunder Mountain five times in 30 minutes. And if we wanna fill up the challenge completion meter to avoid the painful challenge at the end of this video, then we need to rope drop for this challenge. Okay, we have 30 minutes to do this ride five times. We're going to Big Thunder Mountain. It should be totally empty. When I got to the Big Thunder queue, I had to slowly walk behind this cast member as they were still setting up the ride for the day, which added on a lot of extra time, and I kind of already knew we were cooked at this point. This might not be possible, but hey, we're going to give it our best shot. I, I should have been done with our first rotation at this point. I saw the line up there. It, I don't think it's possible. Whoa! Oh, look at that queue. Okay, I've concluded at this point there's no mathematically possible way that we could do this five times. However, we can maybe do it three times. I ended up being incorrect on this estimation as well. So I did it like twice in 23 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just taking the L on that one. It's already been 30 minutes. You know what's bad too is that I think right now if we don't complete two of the last three challenges, then we fail. And that reality could not be any more grim after reading what the next challenge was. Ride every ride at Disneyland in one day. Bro, oh my god. I, I, I already, I actually already did this. You can watch that video right here. And it took 12 whole hours to do. Like, dude, there's literally no way that this is even gonna be possible to do. We're gonna have to take the L because we should have started that one already. Which means if I don't succeed in these last two challenges, I will be forced to do the most painful and excruciating challenge at the Disneyland Resort. Pose with the different themed trash cans to all the lands, one hour limit? Oh, okay. Fun fact about Disneyland, based on the land you're in, there's a bunch of different themed trash cans. And we have to go to all 17 lands and pose with every single trash can. We basically just need to walk around the entire park. I'm gonna dip into New Orleans Square and find a trash can, and then we're gonna immediately go to Galaxy's Edge and just loop around the park. Oh, here's a trash can, okay. I have to pose. On the list of silly things I've done at Disneyland, this has got to be up there. I'm literally just taking pictures with trash cans. I have so many different trash cans to choose from, but here. Okay, so I think we're gonna try and dip into Frontierland, but then we'll still go the back way. Just trying to efficiently walk around the entire park, and I'm gonna get so many steps in today. Here we are, here we go. Oh, here we go. I already see a Fantasyland trash can. 
Okay, so now we gotta get over to Toontown, dip into Toontown super quickly, take a picture with the trash can, and then head over to Tomorrowland, take a picture with the trash can there. The amount of people that are staring at me as I'm just like literally taking selfies in front of trash cans is so funny. I just found a Main Street trash can. We're just gonna get with this really quickly. One more trash can to go, and then we can head over to California Adventure. So the route that I plan to go for California Adventure is just do counterclockwise. We'll start with Buena Vista Street, we'll go to Hollywood Studios, and then we'll head to Avengers Campus and Cars Land. Now we're going to San Francisco to do the trash can there. Oh look, it's got a cool logo on it too. You know what we could do if we really wanted to save time? I bet you there's a Pixar Pier themed trash can right on the edge right here, and a Paradise Pier one right on the edge over here. Oh, here, is this Pixar? This is Paradise Garden, okay, okay. Second to last trash can right here. We got one more trash can. We did it. We did that. All 17 trash cans and it only took 38 minutes. How many people can actually say they've taken a picture with every single Disneyland trash can? Yeah, I didn't think so. To fill up my challenge completion meter, it all comes down to this final challenge. Eat a turkey leg and ride Matterhorn in less than 30 minutes. Don't puke. I'm here, I'm in front of Matterhorn. Here's my turkey leg. We've got 30 minutes right now. I'm trying to get some barbecue on it. Oh, it's really hitting me it's so much. Okay, I've dug into this thing like as best as I can. It only took me eight minutes to eat that thing. Oh my God. We need to go right now. We have 18 minutes to get on this ride. We have a lightning lane. Quite honestly, I wasn't even worried about the time limit. I was more concerned about my stomach. Like it's actually kind of scary how fast I devoured that thing. I feel pretty full right now. I don't know if I'm gonna feel much full once we're done with the ride. Oh yeah, kind of. <laughs> we're almost there. I think we'll be on the next train. I guess we'll just find out how strong my stomach is. I'm gonna need my stomach to be strong because if I throw up at any point during this ride, I will fail this challenge. Okay, this is it. Last challenge of the day. Ah! Dude, we're being thrown around so bad. My stomach is already, I'm feeling it a little bit. Oh. We're good. We're good. We're good. We did it. We did it with three minutes to spare. Okay. Oh my God. We just successfully did that. You got. You guys, <laughs> we just did that. All right, well, we did it. The challenge completion meter is filled up. I'm so excited to see what challenge we have. Have a fun and relaxing afternoon at the Tiki Room. And so I got my Dole Whip and watched the Tiki Room. But if you're looking for something more exciting, watch me ride every ride.